well, the car's packed, which means I'm now ready to start driving south and start the biggest project I've ever probably done. Maybe. Continuity. 24 hour drive, starting now, Austin, Texas. Got everything packed up. I don't know where I'm sleeping tonight, all the usual stuff. I feel like I'm very out of practice talking to the camera, but I'll give it a go. I'm about five hours into my 24 hour drive south to Austin, Texas. I sound like my dad talking right now. So as I'm driving, there are three main things I'm worried about right now. One is creating something good enough that people like it. Two, that there are enough people that watch it to make it worth making. And three, uh, right now, press credentials for Trials 1. So, here's the hoping. Uh, so, dinner time. Two pieces of cheese pizza. I gotta stop looking at the screen and look at you. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Why am I doing this myself all the time? <laughs> you might be looking at breakfast too. I don't know. I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Stocking up on gas, water. Unfortunately, it's Dasani. I've got another couple hours of driving. Masks, people, masks. All the, uh, all the uh, truck drivers are pulling over to the side of the road and sleeping in random off ramps. I'm wondering if I'll do that. I don't know. Uh, until then. Let's go. Fourteen hours of driving today. I think it's the longest one shot drive I've ever done. And I got about ten hours tomorrow, so I need to leave here by technically eleven. Today I just did a lot of thinking about video stuff. A lot of worrying about if it's going to be worth it to go all the way down there. I'll figure it out. Oh, I'm going to sleep. If you ever get somewhere and need a hotel room, like after 12 a.m., technically into the next day, set your phone date to the day before, and you'll be able to book something and not have to worry about sleeping in your car. Deep into the heart of Texas I go. Okay, let me explain. I'm driving from Philadelphia to Austin, Texas in order to film the people on training camp on their Olympic trials journey. And if everything goes right, a few of those boats will win trials, go to the final qualification regatta, and I will be able to go and film that as well. And if everything goes well there, and they qualify, then I can possibly go to the Olympics. And over those three events, I might be able to produce a documentary showcasing what it takes to go from US athlete to Olympic athlete. Hopefully, with the skill set I have developed over the years of filming, rowing, and actually being a rower, I will be able to produce something myself that is good, that is high quality. So I'm taking my boat south because I'm a little bit selfish. I want to be able to experience rowing at the nicest places in the country to row. One of them, mainly, is Sarasota in Nathan Benderson Park. I really want to know what it's like to row on a, a 2,000 meter course that is built just for rowing. I think it'd be cool. So, as you've heard, I feel very nervous uh, starting these back up and doing these because I'm, I'm out of practice. I don't know if what I will make will be good enough and all that stuff. I'm, I'm just... I'm anxious to get started again. I just need to get the ball rolling again, which is why I've just kind of been talking into the camera, trying to get a little bit more comfortable doing it again. Obviously, I've done this before, so I'm not worried about that part. It's just, will it be better? It always needs to be better. I want to make better videos, better content, do all that kind of stuff, and do it to the point where I can rationalize putting all this time, effort, money into the equipment and the 
editing process and make it worth all of the headaches and time spent making videos. I think it does make me happy, but I don't know. All right, that's enough therapy session, almost killing the battery. Oh, yeah, find the point to lean on, jog, stop. Okay, good first day. So that was my first practice with the high performance team. They, uh, they're they pretty fast. So now I'm just gonna take my boat off, maybe a rigging session, I don't know. I'm gonna go put it on the trailer and then I'm gonna go home, eat some food and maybe take a nap. My car's taking a bit of a hit with all the driving. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. And time. So it's pretty quick to put this thing together. All right, I'm just gonna go pop this on the trailer and then uh, head back, sift through footage, and just get myself organized and ready to create what I came down to create. Lots of hat hair on this. So that was my first practice with the Vesper lightweights. And I think it went pretty well. I think I got a lot of good footage. With that first practice, it has been worth it to drive all the way down here. So I'm excited. Hopefully you are too. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the footage. It's over the next week and a half I'm gonna be filming a lot of different people down here in Austin and then I'll be headed over to Sarasota to film people training for trials and then hopefully trials goes ahead when the final Olympic qualification regatta goes ahead oh, god it's complicated but uh, yeah I'm trying to broaden my audience a bit so that more people can see these cool shots that I'm hopefully getting and yeah send this to someone that you think would enjoy it and subscribe, like, whatever, but follow along. I think I'm going to do some pretty cool stuff for next, next month. So yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. How do I explain to people 
just how much I love rowing, just how much I want to showcase, and how I want to make money doing things like this. I don't know how to do that. Bah! This is really good lighting right now. Thanks for watching. Doesn't look good. I don't even know what I'm saying. Come on.